Hello everyone. Uh, this is Monday. I am going to do this new uh, mold that I got from Timu for 11 cents. Um, right now, what I did is I wanted a template because the edges are so unique. I wanted to be able to uh, cut out these gorgeous sheets. And yes, I have sprayed these. You, you can tell I got one a little bit too. But I have sealed them on both sides, back and front. Uh, and I am going to be cutting these out and putting them in here. And so I wanted uh, a template. And I'm going to start doing this with everything that I'm going to be putting paper in. Uh, oh no. Okay. I'm going to give you a heads up. If you've got a silicone um, mold that is going to really stick to, put something up underneath it because if this hadn't been flat, this could have been an issue. But with this being flat, this is going to be okay. And it's not been in here for an hour. Um, and I wanted you to, to be able to tell too. Now this is the mixed mold casting compound. This is a holographic mold. Uh, but it did not pick it up on the casting powder. And I know somebody's going to ask me about that. So I just wanted to let you know that no, it does not pick up um, on the actual casting. And, and I'm going to hopefully be able to save this. I'll put it up somewhere safe. And anytime I want to do what I'm doing, I will have a template for it. Um, before we get started on that, I did have some extra left over. And so I poured uh, this, and I showed it to you on a uh, oh, video. I'm just getting all the, the excess off of it. But I've never poured this one. Uh, this is the teddy bear. Oh, this has got junk all over it. Uh, this is the teddy bear. No, not the teddy bear. The the bear with the honey pot. And I'm just trying to get all this off of here. And it's not going to come off. It's stuck. So, let's hope that it pops out of here. Oh, and it does. Popped out really good. That's the lid for it. And this was a large size, okay? They, they had a uh, um, a small size. And that's what that looks like. And this is just for decorations, okay? There's, but that's what it looks like. And it's cute. Okay. Now, y'all know that I, uh, oh, before I get started, I, okay. <laughs> I forget to do this. For all of y'all that have never been here before, my name is Beth. And thank you so much for coming. For those that have been here many times before, or my subscribers, thank you so much for coming back. Um, I do appreciate all the likes that I got on my last video. Uh, that lets me know that uh, you are being supportive. And, and that is a great way to show your support. So thank you so much. Um, okay, we're going to get started. I, I always forget to do that. We poured this. Remember, it was the 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 really weird one that I had just used the the leftover casting powder, and then I realized that the lid, the top of it, was you know okay. Well, since I knew that the lid was the way it was, I took the leftovers because I just made too much, and I did the same thing I did 
with the green only I used the blue I just put it in there I didn't think you needed to see this because I have videos out there showing you how to do this uh, and I just took the pigment color that I got off of Timu and just put a couple of drops and swirled it and then poured it but now on the lid I knew that that was the bottom of the lid but because I knew that was a top, I could design it. And so that's what I did. I put those little, let me, yeah. You see how it's got a definite design to it? And, and now you can do that. If you know that it's the top, especially with the casting powder. So, I thought that was cool. Of course, these are just going to be little candles. So. That's what we're doing. But let's get this out of the way for right now. Um, these, I want, I'm going to do clear. I'm not going to do a backing. I want them to be reversible, where, he, where you're going to get two different designs on one coaster. And I hope it turns out well enough to do that with. Um, and the only thing that we're going to have to worry about... There's something on there. I don't know what that is. Because the casting powder one came out and I definitely don't want there to be anything inside I don't know did it take the holographic no it didn't okay I probably am going to have to do this again before I pour it, but I'm seeing things now, so I'm going to go ahead and do it while I'm seeing it. Okay. I'm going to set this over here for right now. And these are fully dry. And let me find a pen that I can use that is not going to... Uh, I wanted to do that. I wanted to get that in there. But what am I going to have on the back if I do that? Afternoon tea. I'm okay with that. Okay. And I will be cutting this on the inside of this line, not the outside of this line. Uh-oh. Don't do that. Let me put it back the way it was. My whole thing will be wonky. And now this is a little wet. Normally, I would tell you to let your piece fully cure, but I had not planned on doing this. I got up this morning, and it was like, what do I want to do today? What would be a good video? And this is something that I've wanted to do, and I've not done before, so I thought, well, let's do this. Good enough. Good enough. Okay. I thought they were totally dry, but they're sticking. Okay. Now, I don't really care what shows up on that. But I do want... I 
I really wanted. I really wanted this to show up as much as possible. So I'm taking this as close to the edge as I can get it. And I'm not going to be cutting out these scallops perfectly, I don't think. I mean, I guess I could try to get them as close as possible. And I should have my uh, rotating turntable up here because it would make it a whole lot easier. One, and I don't care what's on that, but I do want that on there. And basically, I have one side that I knew that I wanted certain things of, and the back side. I didn't really care. And I got this off of Timu, these papers. They come in a booklet. And I'll show you the booklet. And I'm just being more careful, not because of the paper, but because this is still damp. Oh. Uh, okay, I'll take another piece of paper and do that. Okay. And I see I don't care that side, but I do want to get That's not going to fit on there. Okay. That's about as good as I can get it. And I should be using a better pen. This pen is not good for this. See, that one didn't turn out either. Okay, I'm putting it back down because I want one that's really good and then I can take the other ones where they're missing a spot. And I'm going to show you. I'm not going to do all this. Um, because it would take forever.
these scissors are not real good if you had uh if you had a really good pair of sharp i would call them embroidery scissors small this would be a lot easier We'll do this one. We'll get this one cut out. And then I'll pause it and get the other three. Let me do this so I don't have to fight with it. Okay. And I know there's a little bit of line left, but we'll take care of that. If I get it closer to the edge, it allows me to just curve the paper and cut a lot better than if I get out to the very point. See, I take it up all the, well, I take it down actually, all the way down. And it tends to help me do this, and I'm basically not moving my scissors as much as I'm moving the paper. And this does take a little bit of time. This is not something that's like, oops, and you're done. And I'm not doing a real good job with these little edges either. And it may be an issue when I try to go put them in the mold. We'll find out in a few minutes. And no, I'm not throwing those bits of pieces of paper away either. I'll save them in a little envelope and or envelope, however you say that. And uh, there may be something I could use them with. And I chose to uh, okay, where is I chose to do the spraying of the whole sheet versus just these because it tends to uh, come up a little bit curl up and so if you just tried to do the teeth then that might have become an issue if I'm not mistaken yeah that should come right off let me put just a little bit of alcohol and it does it comes right off so if you don't get it just totally off of there, then just take not something real wet, but just take a little bit of alcohol 
and it takes it off. Okay, let's see before I pause this. Let's just see if this is going to fit in here. And no. Wow. Okay. Maybe it's bigger at the bottom. Wow, this this is a tight fit right here. No. Why is it so Okay. Maybe I should have done every one of them. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe but it shouldn't be that much difference because I wow okay boy I'm telling you I didn't leave any uh... <laughs> there is no room for anything in there And I don't like that. So what I'm going to try to do. Is I'm going to try to make. Some of these just a little bit. Smaller. Okay. Hmm. Boy, it's snug. Is that good? Making them smaller is not going to be because now that's a little bit too small. I don't know what to do. Maybe it's the angle that you put them in. Let's try that. Oh, let's try this. I don't know. I'm grasping at straws right now. I don't know. But this is crazy. The mold came out of here. Is it bigger? Let me do this. Okay. Yeah, see where I did that? I'm off a little bit now. I should have done this first, y'all. This is the reason why I do it, so you don't make the same mistakes that I do. So it is too big. And that's just going to have a little bitty gap right there. Okay. So what I'm going to try to do. See this is where your little bitty scissors come in handy. Or a really good sharp exacto knife. Which I don't have either. But let's try the exacto knife. I'm pushing on it. I should be on a cutting mat, though. 
Yeah, it's not touching my exacto knife. It's not touching this. Well, there it goes. Okay. Now it's not touching it enough. Okay, I'm going around and I'm trying to get the pieces. I'm probably ruining my plastic sheet on here. I should have a cutting mat on here and I don't. And you're probably seeing the top of my head now. And I'm sorry. Trying to get that. And I don't want to move it because I got it down enough. No, I don't see any edges sticking out. So. Let's see if that made a difference. I'm wondering if it does make a difference and or if these are all equal. Okay, that definitely helps right there boy that's a that's what you call almost a an exact tight fit but it's not bubbling and it's not it's it's not so okay we're going to use that as our template now that i've got one that i can use That looks a little off right there. Just a little. Just going in where it's a little folded. That's going to be the back side of that. Okay, I will be back when I, I have the rest of these uh, all cut out. Okay, guys, we'll get back to the normal video uh, in just a minute, but I have to share this with you, bring this up, and I hope you can see this. This was an accident, okay? Uh, one of my pigment colors fell on top of this, and it's still wet, you know? I just took it out not too long ago. And I kept looking. I was, I, I was trying to wipe it off. And, and I took some water and, I, and it smeared it, you know, and it was the ju juby red. And I kept looking at it and was like, wow, why do I keep seeing a bird in a tree in there? So I took this pen, the same pen that, well, now I can't find it. It's the same pen that I traced. Uh, the outline with. What in the world did I do with the pen? Well, that's insanity. Okay, but it was the same pen. I'll find it in a minute. So I took my pen, and I just sort of followed what I saw in the colors. And I thought, wow, that's sort of strange. I wonder if you can paint with the pigment for the 
the casting powders. And so all I did, now this is Jay Dixon's brown because I didn't have any of the uh, other in the Timu colors. And and you can't see it because it's over here. Let me let me put it out again. You see that little bit over there? You see the little water thing over here? And now you can't see it good, but that's what I've been using. And and I'm going to. I want you to be able to see this though. Back up to two. You're just not going to be able to see the paint, okay? And I'm taking water. And all I'm doing, and I'm not even using a brush. I'm using one of these um, silicone. And you can get it darker, you can get it lighter, whatever you want. Right now, I'm not really putting much water on there. I'm putting a little bit. But the, the more water you put on, the lighter it gets. I don't know. Could you use a ball tool? Hold on a minute. We'll try that. We'll try different things and see if they work. I just... This was an accident, y'all. And I thought, well, just... Go ahead with your other video and then do this later. And I thought, no, nope, because I know I'm going to finish this. And so I wanted to share this with you because it, it was just an accident. And I don't know if this is something. I'm always seeing things in colors. I, I mean, I always have. I think all my life, I, you know, I look at the clouds and I see shapes. And I think a lot of people do. But I do the same thing with colors, um, the shading in the colors. And uh, I even pick up music with conversation. Somebody will say something and automatically, when that sentence comes out of their mouth, it makes me think of a song. And I don't know why I'm like that. I guess because the good Lord created me this way. Um, but I just want you to see... Uh, you know, and do do we want to uh, I don't know what a bird's eye looks like, okay? I'm not good at painting birds. I'm not good at drawing. Uh, I'm definitely not good at freehanding, but I mean, I just pretty much follow the shapes. I do know a little bit about shadowing, but That's just a little bit too, okay? But this is just, to me, this is just so cool. Um, I'm going to have See little feathers sticking up off of his head. Yeah, I don't know. It looks plain right there, so I want to do something. I'm gonna make it look like a porcupine before I'm over with over it. And this doesn't work as good, I guess, you know, you could Yeah, it does. It looks like a damn... Oh! Oh, I just said that word, didn't I? Whoop! <laughs> okay. Well, I am so sorry. Please forgive me. Uh, I knew it'd happen one day. It, it looks like a... Porcupine. Yeah, I don't like that now. I think I messed that up, but let's see if you can fix it. 
see if you can do this. Oh, wow. Okay. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of when you have those blackboards. Not blackboards. Scratching. Uh, no, that's not it. But it's where you, you, you do. You, you scratch. Uh, and a different color comes through. What is that called? It's a kit. Oh, look at that. That's sweet. Not that I'm doing a great job, okay? This is not something that that I had planned at all. See if we can put some. Oh, wow, this is cool. Oh, I could see me doing this a lot. Oh, look at that. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Now I want to put a little bit of green. But I don't have the brush that I'd really want to do that with out here. <sighs> don't think that's going to work. Let's get stuff all over it. Mm -mm. Okay, part of me wants to try a big brush like that and pounce it all over in grain, but oh, uh, what if I don't like it? See, that's spooky. Um, hmm. I know what I'm going to do. Because <laughs> I don't, you know, this is my very first time. I, I don't want to uh, ruin it. I will keep this. I'm going to use this. I'm going to use the back side for a minute, okay? Just as a tester. Putting a little bit of water down. Some gray. Uh, mm -mm, too much brown. That brown overtakes. I need to remember that. No, it looks like a bunch of mess right now. And I don't like that. Okay, but I do like that color grain. And then I could do a little bit of black which I, if I could find the pen that I had because it does not come off I did try that I rubbed alcohol over it to see and and it would not come off and well let's just try this that was my first thought And I think that's the best way, right there. I should have gone with my first. Okay. But what we're going to do is we're going to make a little bit of green. And I know you can't see it. Can you see it? Oh, yes, you can. Over here. 
Watch me over here for right now. Because I'm picking up a little bit of the brown and just a touch of the water. That's too much water. Way too much water. That's still way too much water. Okay, here we go. I don't know. I'm not going to hold it up. I'm going to leave it flat. I'm just going to get a base on here. Just some kind of base. Just something. Okay, I think I need a little bit of white. A little bit of white. I'm making a mess over here. The good thing is, is it's easy clean up, y'all. It is so easy to clean this up. Okay, it's all cleaned up, and now I can start, and I want a little bit of white. Just a touch. Just a touch. Not much. And I have this casting. That's a pigment though. No, I can't use that because I need a white. I need white paint is what I need. I don't oh yes I do. I've got some in here. I did. Oh, I am so sorry. This this video turned out to be totally different, and you know you can fast forward. It can be long. It is. I just wanted to share this with you. Uh, that's just what I do. Okay, I got a little bit of white. Not much. I didn't add any water. You can see me. I'm over here. I'll low right there. Okay. I'm going to try on this first. Well, that's not picking up. And I'm hoping maybe. Oh, okay. Okay. more okay I'm gonna take a little bit of this this bird right now it's pink it's the same color and I don't want it the same color as the background 
and I know it, it's not a, a great bird, okay? It's not the... I can put in the eyeball in just a minute. do some of this. I just don't like that bird's head. It's got too big of a head. The head's almost as big as the body. It, it, it is what it is. Well, at least you, you, you'll never know what you're going to see on this channel. You should never get bored here. You never know. If you don't watch the whole video, you, you may miss out. I'm pretty much spontaneous. I know. I'm trying to get the pink out of it. Um, happened to... Or totally redo it, okay. And I don't really have any way of blending color, so I'm taking I don't have my all my brushes, most of my good brushes are upstairs, so I'm um working with what I've got down here, y'all. So just bear with me for a minute. But as you can see, the only paint that I've used other than the the pigment is this white. Because I didn't have white pigment. But they do make it though, actually. If that was your next question, I never bought it. Because I'm thinking, well, why in the world would I need white pigment? Trying to get that pink. Where there's pink lines. I'm trying to get the pink. Pretty much out of it. Yeah, that bird. We made it a beak. <laughs> oh no, that does not look good. Yeah, and this is what I do. I am not one of those people that can sit down and go, Oh, okay, I'm going to do this and poof, it just pops out. Nope, that's not me. That needs some black right in there, and I need black in there. But at least I got the pink out of the bird, okay? Now, if I could find the, the pen that I used, it would be great. And somehow I've lost it. I bet it fell on the floor. Nope, here it is. Okay, that's the pen that I used, and there's there's no branding on it. Oh, that's that, that sucks right there. And I'm, I am going to highlight some of these a little bit. I don't care if some of them are not, but I do want, I do want the
sit down for a minute. I know you can see it right here. So. This paint is still wet and it's getting on my marker. <laughs> Looks like the the bird is fixing to make a dive. Woo! And it's in a it's a big bird in a small tray. <laughs> uh, and I'm 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 through playing with this. I just wanted to show you. I, I was I was amazed. And this is all this is all pigment uh, for the casting powders. Except for those two things. I used, where's the jujube? It fell and I put it up somewhere. But it was this, the jujube red, and then that. Uh, and I just went with what, it was an accident, y'all. And it's fun to do. And when stuff like that happens, I always stop. And uh, do stuff like this. And I thought, well, I'm right in the middle of the video. It happened when I was doing the video. So I thought, I'll share it with y'all. So this is going to be an extra long video. And of course, you know, they have a fantastic invention called the fast forward button. Um, which is awesome. One thing I've learned that I did not realize you could do. Now, you cannot do it when you're watching TV, which I wish they would. But I'm sort of glad because, you know, I didn't realize how hard it was to s subscribe to a channel from your TV set. They don't make it easy. You have to really want to, dis uh, to subscribe and, and uh, find it. You have to click here and click there and... Uh, I was looking at that last night, and I thought, well, be gracious, YouTube. I'm just cleaning out my brush, which you can see me. I'm over here. I've got water. I love these magic wipes. And for y'all, for all of y'all that don't know what I'm talking about, it's because you didn't watch my haul video from uh, Salvation Army. <laughs> but, uh, I got these at Salvation Army. And I paid a dollar a box. 
And I probably should save them for when I don't. Uh, I use them for everything now. Though. I've not used a roll of paper towel since uh, I bought these things. And I paid a dollar. They're real thin, but they're lint-free. They work. They're tough, and, and they absorb, and they, they work really well. I use about four when I clean. Uh, and I'm cleaning all the time. I've gone through, since I bought them originally the first time, I've gone through two boxes of them. Uh, and that's quite good. I would have already gone through about ten rolls of paper towels in the last week and a half. And those were the, the we always use Viva. But I use so many of them is the problem. I'm putting my brushes back. And making sure they're all clean. And that one was not, see? I don't want to... I don't want to ruin brushes. And yes, I, I clean them with water, but then with the pigment... I've noticed that the alcohol cleans the pigment off of my plastic here a lot better. So I always put a little bit of alcohol on my brushes too. And this video is already at an hour. Oh, yep. Sorry, guys. That's what happens when I'm spontaneous. Okay. There's that. I just thought it was cool. This is my template. I will keep it. It's my template for this mold right here. <laughs> uh, which we're fixing to do now. Okay. One thing I've learned. There is no such thing evidently as a perfect mold. This definitely is not a perfect mold. And the reason why I was having issues is because each one is not the same. <laughs> they're, they're off just slightly in some areas. But yeah, they are off. And it was just really, it was starting to irritate me just a little bit, frustrate me, because it didn't matter what I did. I still couldn't see. I finally rounded that off. I thought, oh, poof, yes, I don't care. Because uh, I was getting it agitated, because it didn't matter what I did. If I followed the mold, if, if I, you know, I still, they're still so tight. And I, and I even moved them around from each one to, to see if, well, am I putting them in wrong? Do I need to do them, you know, f for each one? Uh, or, and then I realized that they're all different. And this is the one that's going to give me the, the most fit. Okay. And because of that... I'm not going to worry about them being backsided because I'm afraid they're going to buckle if I do that. Now, as you can see, they're all in there, and they're going to be adorable coasters. They are. But what I'm going to do, for time's sake, because this would be a two-day video if I didn't, if I poured a, enough resin down there and then waited, and then... So, I am going to put UV resin down. A thin coat of UV resin all over. And I wish I had my polyurethane resin. If I had polyurethane resin, that's exactly what I would be using. Because I think white would be great on the background of this. Um, I think it would make it pop. And you know what? I can't decide. I looked at this and I like this. But oh boy, do I like the fact that it says afternoon tea. But that's cut off really bad, and you can't really tell what that is. So, I'm going to go with that one, too, instead of that one. That's starting to say cocoa. I don't know. I was torn, but I like the fact that it has teapot, cake, tea time, Earl Grey, tea scones. It's just, yeah. So, you can use it for, a, this is basically going to be like a tea coaster set, I guess. I know this is the one I'm going to use. 
And I thought I was going to use this one, which I really like. But I think I'm going to go with that one. I don't know. And that one really, that doesn't really fit with this, does it? Look. Oh, I wish y'all could tell me. I wish y'all were here to tell me because I don't really know. I could do it that way. Which I really like. I don't like that part though because you can't really tell what it is. But I could do it that way. Which I really like too. Or I could do it that way. Which I really like. That one doesn't fit. That that just I love this. I do. And I'd love to do a whole set of just nothing but this, I think. But I think right now. And I know that I want to use that. So the only, uh, the only one I'm unsure about, is that one. Get more interesting things. That's got the flowers in it, but those two don't have flowers. Oh, yeah, see, I got it all over my hands. And you really can't, that doesn't really say tea. Okay, we're, we're going to go with this one. Okay, yeah, that took long enough, didn't it? Okay. So, I'm going to put these over here like this. Okay. Just so they don't move. And... Okay, I made it bigger so you could see what I'm doing. Oh, goodness. This has got to be really, really thin coats of resin. Because it's it's blue. Oh, I'm scared it's not going to get cured. Now, we're going to go with 4-Hour Cure Resin. And I'm going to put some glitter. And I'll put it on the heat mat. Let me get it ready right now. Let me just go ahead and put the heat mat up here. So it's ready to go. I hope this is level. Hmm. Oh, there's something in there already again. And since I don't want this to be, uh, since I don't want this to be, okay, it's, it's more level this way, okay. Since I don't want it to be double-sided, 
then I am going to put some glitter. And I think the glitter that I'm going to use is that. Would that look weird with that? Because it's so old and antique -y. Oh, but I love that because it's got the pink. Um... I have that color too. I'm looking. I'm looking at my glitter. Let's see what I've got over here. To go with an orangish. No, not an orangish. No, no, no. I'm not an orangish person at all. I could go with a, a gold. I don't think that fits. Looking for nope, it's got red in it. It looks Christmassy to me. I've got this, I have very little of this left, y'all. Um, that would be perfect. So, what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to mix that and that together. I mean, you know, it is what it is. If it's wrong, it's wrong. That's what I'm using. Oh, I'm getting it all over my hands. This is the Tea Expert Fast Curing 4 Hour Demold, and it is going to be bubbly. It is most definitely going to be bubbly. I can tell you that right now. And I will. I'm going to get gloves on now because I'm getting this all over me. Uh. I will be using my heat gun, which does help with the bubbles. And because I'm using glitter on the bottom, it will help. Now, I don't have any four hour. I just don't think that four hour is going to be clear enough. I've got Nick Pro down here, which I love Nick Pro's resin. I do. But it takes longer to cure. Okay. I want a paper cup. And I'm going to say... An ounce for each one of these for right now. So four ounces is what I need to mix up. And I'm looking for some clean... I'm not going to keep you on here uh, while I mix my resin up either. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get it mixed up. And then when I get it off ready, uh, I'll show it to you before I pour it. All right. Okay, we are back. And what I did is I wanted sort of a brownish uh color in with the pink so what i did is added just a touch of this hippie crafter uh, burnt umber mica powder to uh my resin and uh then i added the sea uh 
uh, flamingo opal and with, and the rest of the sea pink that I had. And this is the four hour and I'm probably waiting too long to do this. It's already getting hot and I still have to put the uh, and I'm just I'm doing it because I'm just going to be putting uh, a, a layer over it when it gets done. Let me get the mica off of there. It's just thick resin. Especially with the uh, glitter in there. I don't want to put too much because I want to be able to put a good coat of the the clear on top of the paper. Blow this around a little bit. It's almost got enough in it. Make sure it gets up in everywhere. Well, is it possible I made just enough? Oh, that's incredible. be using this okay and I am I am going to go ahead and this could be a mistake I'm not waiting until it's just sticky. I'm going to go ahead and stick it in. I don't mind if there's a little bit of that that comes. I can control that. I don't mind that being on the edges. Just make sure that. Ooh. Okay, I filled these up too much. I did not know it was going to do this. It wasn't that full. Yeah, well, I know to take some out of the other ones.
Yeah, I don't want it to. Uh, let it just go over. Let's just let it just go over. And I'll clean it up, glitter and all. It may not be what I want, but I want it to be level. Uh, okay. I probably should have waited for it to get sticky. But let's see if I can't. I don't want the, the glitter covering up everything so I may have ruined this one right here because I've got chunky glitter oh I'm making a mess y'all well at least you can learn from my mistakes that looks bumpy I don't should have scraper that I don't have. I'm okay with the sides having that glitter border. That doesn't bother me at all. I just don't want the big flakes setting on top of I think I'm going to wait for the other ones to get sticky. Because it's not level. This is not leveling out. This is not what I wanted. I guess if once I put my other on there, it's not going to make a difference as long as there's not air bubbles. I don't want air bubbles. That's what I don't want. I don't want air bubbles. Oh, this would have worked if I had not put glitter in this. <laughs> okay, I have this nifty little spoon here.
Oh, yes, this is not, this right here is not my cup of tea at all. <laughs> yes, I know, I'm making coasters for tea, but... I'll be quite honest with y'all, this is a mess. <laughs> One piece at a time. Okay. Let's see if I can't get these ends down because right now they're up and I don't want them up. I want them down. I'm just trying to make sure those, the edges are down and not sticking up like that one was. And in order to know, I got to get this stuff off the edges. Okay. I'm trying to level it out. See, my gloves are so sticky that it's sticking. It's getting better. It's going to be doable. I just made it a whole lot harder on myself. Then I needed to. That's all. I'm getting another pair of gloves on. They're so sticky I can't even grab a hold of the the glove to pull it off. Oh my gosh. The gloves are stuck. <laughs> Ah, uh, and I'm going to run out of time. And I'm putting more gloves on. And if I wasn't on a video, this would be sort of relaxing for me, actually. But I, I am aware of the time frame. I don't want that glitter. I shouldn't have used the chunky glitter. I think that was... But it's really pretty. Oh, it's going to be lumpy. I don't know how to... Why did it not level out? It should be leveling it out by itself. And it's like I'm just taking all the... Well, 
Oh, no, I'm not taking all of it. I can tell how much I'm taking out of it. But Maybe that's it. Maybe I put way too much in each one to do it this way. Maybe I should have just... Sorry, y'all. Hold up. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is going to be... If this turns out, this is going to be amazing. And I think I'm going to leave it alone. Try to get the the big flakes off. See, it's it's not level, and I can I can tell it's not level, and that's going to drive me nuts. I'm going to take a lot of this out of the other ones. I'm not touching the mold, y'all. I'm just trying to get in here to I am touching the mold now. <laughs> But I'm not doing it real hard. Yeah, I'm just trying to remove most of this. And I should probably put you on pause and come back when it's all done, but... Then you'll think, well, that wasn't too bad. <laughs> and I'm going to tell y'all right now, this is not, this is not something you want to do. So learn from my mistake. And I'm hoping once I... Uh, pour that other layer... You're not going to be able to tell. I'm trying to make sure that it's all... I don't know why it's doing that. Where's those? I'm looking for my micro brushes. And I've hit them for myself. I don't know where. Okay, that's not too bad, right? I mean, it was a whole lot worse, so. Okay. I'm 
Yep. I am. I am doing this. Let's see if that's enough. This is definitely better. Okay. Let me try to get some of this off my hands real quick. These are actually really good. about doing that. Yes, I've got glitter, but I don't have Okay. I'm just removing the big glitter pieces over the side Okay, that's Dan coming in. Sc scared me. That's him coming in from work. I did not realize it was already this late. So you're going to hear a loud noise with the car coming in the garage, y'all. Okay, that worked out better, right? It did. Now, I don't want to waste this glitter, so I'm going to pour it in. That right there. I no, I may have already wasted it, but it seems to be going down. Let me go ahead and just get what I think I need to get out of here I'm running out of work time and I know it
but I, I put way too much in here and so now I've got to get it out And let's put that one in. Hey, honey, I'm filming. He just got home from work. You want to say hi? Hello. <laughs> He's ready to go upstairs now. <laughs> I'll be up there in just a couple of minutes. See, it gets easier when you know what you did and you figured out what to do. It gets easier. And I, I think my problem was is I just put way too much resin. And but that one is gonna be wonky. And I don't think there's anything I can do about that. It's gonna be wonky. Oh well. I think the other ones are gonna be fine. I've been down here for quite a while. This video, oh, it's, it's only at an hour and 38 minutes, which I know most people are saying only, but as much as that, that thing that I did that I wasn't expecting took up some time. And then, of course, the mistake I made also took up some time. So, but it's going faster since I figured out what to do. I don't mind the, the big flakes everywhere around the edge. I just don't want them. On the actual picture like that one is. I'm hoping maybe you won't see the fact that they're not leveling out for some reason. These two right here, I don't know. That one looks pretty good right there. Okay, let's try this one. It's going to be what it's going to be, right? Right. Oh, my box just fell on the floor.
Okay. Okay. I know I'm not talking much. I'm trying to concentrate. <laughs> okay. I think we're about ready to come to a, a point where I stop messing with them. And uh, so good enough. And just see how they turn out. What do y'all think? down okay I'm gonna quit messing with it I'm gonna get these off of it I'm going to get all the big pieces of 
later off the picture, hopefully. The majority of them, anyway. Okay. I'm not doing anything else to these. I am going to turn this on. I am going to clean up my mess that I have over here. This was not enough to fill this up. Almost. Uh, but not quite enough. Almost so. And when I'm ready to put the top coat on, I will bring y'all back. But I, I've got to get my hands uh, unstuck enough so I can turn my camera off. So, uh, uh, yeah, these gloves are sticking to my hands. Okay. Okay, we're back. This has been... This is still sticky. It's it, I don't think it's going to turn out. But I went ahead and uh, uh, mixed up some more resin. And instead of waiting the two hours and then coming back and pouring the top coat, if I thought it stood a chance, I probably would. I'm hoping I'll be surprised. But right now, it should it shouldn't float. It should be stuck down enough, but I think the problem is going to be the back is not going to be level. The back side is going to be really wonky. But we're going to go ahead and... Uh, I just mixed up clear resin, the Tea Expert 4-Hour Cure. And it is going to be really bubbly. And I am not going to fill it up all the way. I'm going to use a blow... T no, not a blow torch. A heat gun. And try to get some of the bubbles out. Hold your ears. And I know some of this big chunky glitter is going to get in the middle. But there's nothing I can do about it at this point. Uh, I'm going to blow it again real quick. And I, oh, 
That's why you don't have <laughs> that's why you don't have stuff above your head. Uh, I am learning that. Yeah, I want to get this. I'll put that right there. And I'm fixing to just try to get a few of those floating ones. I know I can't get them all. But I can get a few of them. I don't mind a, a couple of them floating around. That one's got the majority of them. Don't want little tiny ones. I'm okay with, but I don't want those big o ones floating. It's not floating; it's sinking. But I don't want it on the bottom either. The edges are coming up in this one. Look at that air bubble. Oh. oh. Out. Do you see that thing there? It finally popped. Okay, I probably need to do this with all of them then. I'm just going to start the resin up. I mean the, the glitter. That's what I didn't want. Yeah, there's air bubbles up underneath there. so much I don't think in that one. It's going to be all over that one so I'd rather go up that way though. Away from the teapot. <laughs> so if it's got to be in here Go up toward the tea, uh, away from the teapot. Go up where there is nothing. I'm making bubbles, y'all. Oh, good gracious. Look at all those bubbles I'm making. Okay. Y'all can see it. It is as it is. I'm leaving it alone. Uh... 
I'm fixing to put the cover over it and I will be back down here in about two hours. This is going to be a late video, y'all. Uh, it's already 7 o'clock. And I've been down here since 3. If that tells you anything. Okay. Wow, I think it's storming outside. Oh my, it is storming outside. I had no idea it was supposed to. But I'm hearing that thunder. Moisture has gotten up underneath here. Okay, I'm going to turn it off. I got, I think my hand's unsticky enough. And I'll be back when it's done. Alrighty, we're back. And I think they're done enough for me to at least try to get them out of here. I don't expect them to work. I really don't. Uh, even with me um, spraying them. Oh no, wait a minute. I'm not even going to be able to get them out. Oh, they're soft, but we're going to go ahead and try. Of course, I'll have to wait till it. Uh, firms up to get all this. Off. Yeah, they turned dark, even with me spraying both sides. Uh, they did turn dark. So, I don't know. Oh, wow. Yeah. I don't mind the back though but yeah amazingly they're they're the same they're level I could top coat this but I probably won't I'm just trying to get all these pieces off oh yeah it's still soft oh yep I guess I should be a little bit more careful it was on the uh, the heat mat for an hour and a half but there's that one Yep, and there again, there's the back. I don't mind the back. And I guess for what it is, it, it they, they turned out okay. They didn't turn out the way I expected them to turn out, but, I mean, they're usable. They're level. these little and there's the back to that one oh okay there's a little hole right there there is a bubble which I can fix that with UV resin so I'm not the first I'm a, I'm amazed though that's the first one I think that's the first one I, I put down, too. Oh, 
I like the mold. I wouldn't do it uh, this way again. I'm trying to get these. It's just so soft that I can't even pull them off. Normally I could just... Nope. Okay. Let's move the mold over there. So... That's that one. That's the back to that. I love the back. The backs are really pretty. And I sort of like the fact that you can use either the, the top or the I'm gonna I'm gonna raise this up so you can see them a little bit better. So what do y'all think? I sort of like them. Should I should I edge them in gold? Should I get my chrome marker pen and and edge them? And it would be it would be gold this time I think. I have the J Diction Chrome markers. Uh, what is that one? Probably too soft for me to do that there, right? I don't really see it though. Can you tell the difference? I don't think I want to do the... I don't think I want to do the whole sides. I don't know if you can even, this even makes a difference. I'll look at the, yeah. oh, I'm getting it all over now. 
get some alcohol real quick and get that cleaned up real quick. If I don't, it won't come off. making a mess. Is that it? No. Okay, can you really tell the difference? Oh, a little bit. Okay. Yeah, okay. It's worth doing. I think it would be easier if it was dry, but, I mean, totally dry, but we'll, uh, we'll do this anyway. So you can see... Because it definitely does make them look finished off. Maybe I should do the other edges, but right now I'm just going to do this part. Nope, I don't want that. Boy, it's hard to do when you're trying to do it, holding it up away from you. <laughs> uh, I got some right there. I need to get off. I don't know. It dripped right there. These are not what I normally use. I have the Let's Resin Chrome Markers. But this was right here, so that's what I grabbed. But they're working. They're working okay.
here I think it would be easier for me to do it this way and quicker I don't know, is it coming out? It's like it stopped coming out. There it comes. Nope, should go that way. I think this one needs a little bit more on it. It's got a big old smear on it, too. So I need to get that off. This definitely makes it look more finished, I think, anyway. I know you probably can't see this part, and that's okay. Just finishing up with the... Yeah, you can see it on all of them now. Yeah, and it definitely makes a difference on those. Let me spray some alcohol on here and get that stuff up before it stains my board. okay cool okay what do y'all think i sort of really like these now so let me know what you think in the comments i don't have much hope for this this is just what i had left over i know the bottom i expected to have a bunch of holes in it because, of course, I just sort of gooped it in there. But, did you notice the glitter did not sink? You know what the key to that is, right? That's heavy glitter. No, and I didn't put glue in there. It was thick enough, y'all. If you, if you use a thicker resin, which some of y'all may already know this, but some of you may not, so I'm telling you. If you use a thicker resin, or if you wait for your resin to thicken up, your glitter is not going to sink nearly as bad. Now, sometimes it'll sink a little bit, but it will not sink nearly as uh, bad. Look at that. I, I have no air bubbles at all in that. <laughs> for for just throwing it in there. And that glitter is all the way through there. So. And that's the backs. Oh, I love the backs, actually. I, I sort of like the way that they're not totally... Where you, see? See? 
you can sort of see the writing through there. It's not the same as the front. See, that's what's so cool about this. That's not on the front. And then you get the holographic. And see, you see a little bit of that T paper. With the, so, yeah. Amazingly, amazingly, y'all, uh, I am, I am happy with those. <laughs> I don't know how they came out like that. And I don't know how they all came out level, but they did. I mean, they all came out level. Well, that's a little wonky. Oh, it's because they were soft. Oh, yeah, I need to leave them. <laughs> they were soft. I need to leave them uh, laying flat. <laughs> but, yeah, I really, I really like the way these turned out. And then, of course, we cannot forget the accident <laughs> and the, the painting with the casting uh pigments and i think that's really cool and yes even though my bird looks really wonky i i love the the effect and i love the fact that you can paint on these of course that's when i was testing it but and that's the template for that <laughs> but you can paint with the the pigment uh liquids these like you know the resin crate j addiction pigment for the casting powder is what's in the tree trunks the brown and then the ones i got off the of team there those that's what i painted with that all except for the uh the white the white and then the black uh no brand, no name, ink pen. So, yeah, that's that's pretty cool. Alrighty, I'm going to end this video. It's at 2 hours and 20 minutes. Um, and, uh, as always, please hit that thumbs up like button for me. I do appreciate it. Y'all are so good about it, and, and it means a lot to me. Um, it shows me that you, you are uh, supporting my channel. And uh, I'm very, very thankful for that. And also, if you've not subscribed, I would love for you to do so. The, the share button and the notification bell um, are there also. And the Facebook group. The, the Facebook group, the link for that is in the description below. And then... Uh, the coupon discount, the, the discount code for the Light Wish uh, Colored or Diamond Glitter UV Resin, either or, uh, is also under the description. And that is only good until the 27th. That is uh, the code that they sent me after sending me the, uh, the set to do a review. And, um, so if that's something you're interested in, there is a discount code up underneath the description. Uh, but it will go away as of the 27th of this month. Um, and comments, I, I would love to, uh, I'd love for y'all to, to let me know what you think about the coasters. I know the, the process was a, a messy one and probably not the easiest way. But it worked. Oh, and let me know what you think about this. Uh, that's pretty cool, too. Alrighty. Y'all have a fantastic um, rest of the evening. This is going to be late, so you may be already sleeping. Um, tomorrow's Tuesday, and I'm hoping to have another video up for y'all. Thank you. Have a good night. Bye-bye.